slip on my double dogs. It's your boy, Sean Hall. Strength Corps is on a five star general. Alright, up in the gym today, man. About to hit some upper body, some chest and back. About to superset everything because I'm trying to be pretty quick because we got some tip videos to record for y'all. So, we're trying to get that shit done. Um, so, me and Emilio, we're going to fucking kill this shit. Man. Hi, guys. He's going to actually be in the videos now because I told his ass, man. He's trying to. He got some goals, man. I'm not gonna tell you all the man business and shit. I'll leave that for another video, but I'm like, he needs to get some exposure, man. Y'all need to see who my fucking workout partner is. Y'all see who holds the fucking camera. Y'all be like, who the fuck is that? So I'm gonna get him in some videos, but anyway, so I don't hold y'all too long. Y'all already know, dope ass instrumental, fucking all kinds of tips. Y'all know how I do. Stay tuned, leave comments below. Let's get it. All right, on my devil dogs, it's another chest and back workout with your boy, the general. All right, we started off warming up. You guys have seen me do this many times with the chest fly machine on the cables and then superset it with these uh, cable lat pull downs. Really good to get the chest warmed up, get the back warmed up. Uh, as you can see, my boy E right here, man. Pretty big dude, man. I don't know if y'all noticed that from the last video, but... He's only been training about a year, a year and a half, and he's already made some pretty good gains, man. All right. Next thing we did, we uh, we actually started off without doing supersets. So we started off with just four sets of pull-ups, but we varied the hand grip each time. You can see right here, I started off going wide grip pull-ups, and we got 10 reps, anywhere from 8 to 10 each one. Then E did pull-ups again, but he put his arms a little bit closer. So that what that's going to do is really kind of lengthen the range of motion and help you feel it a little more in your lats. For the third set, I went ahead and went underhand. So by going underhand again, you're also lengthening that motion. And that really helps bring the biceps a little more and your lower lats. And then the last set we did right here was just a neutral grip, which is supposed to be the best grip according to science. All right. All right, so first superset we did right here was actually, oh no, this is not a superset, I'm, <laughs> I'm all messed up. This is another straight set we did, we did bench press, all right? We wanna, the reason why I didn't superset everything to begin with was because I wanted two exercises where we could actually monitor our progress and see how strong we are because when you superset, you tend to be weaker on the second exercise and you know that's very taxing on your central nervous system so you're not gonna be able to lift the same amount of weight as if you did straight sets. So I wanna make sure we at least have two exercises where you know we're able to monitor our progress but not having it you know supersetted so we start off with bench press we're supposed to get our first set was supposed to be like a power set and he actually got eight reps so that's something you need to move up man so i hit the 275 for five that you saw a few clips ago then i want to hit uh what is this 265 i think or 245 whatever 225 is in a 10 on each side then i hit the 225 for i think like 10 reps and then i went for the 205 and i think i hit it about 12 times yo the fucking super sets are about to start shit's about to get real as fuck so this is not for the faint of heart so if you're not ready don't super set the shit, split it up. This like ain't no a, picnic, bitch! But guess what? You a bad motherfucker. Go ahead and do some damn super sets. Alright, so here's where we started the supersets off with. We did incline barbell bench, really good for the upper chest. And I, I hear so many people talking about they can't touch their chest. I am six foot two with like a, like a ridiculous wingspan. And if I could touch my chest, you can do it too. Alright, unless you're like six seven or something. But we went ahead and we superseted that with barbell bent over rows. We did them kind of high to really focus on the upper back. And as you can see, you really want to pull through the elbows, really squeeze those shoulder blades together to get the best out of the exercise. All right, then E went after me, did the same thing, man. I wish he would have got a little bit lower, but again, being that his arms are pretty long, he's about the same height as me, like six feet, six one almost. So um, as long as you're getting your elbows, you know, past, you know, the point of your body when you're laying down, it's, it's all right. You know, you don't necessarily have to touch your chest if you're a taller guy. All right, so just a little tip there. But if you're a shorter guy with shorter arms, go ahead and touch your chest, man.
So as you can see from that last clip, man, it got to get a little motivation sometimes, but that's how we train. All right, went ahead, and the next superset was, again, for back, and this time with shoulders. So we did uh, some some dumbbell pullovers, really good for the lats, really good for the serratus. That pullover motion is really neglected when it comes to developing a good back. A lot of people don't incorporate these into their routines. And then we went ahead and did some standing dumbbell shoulder press. Really gonna help, you know, with your abs um, stabilization because we got some heavy weight. We only pressed it six to eight times. So that stabilization was there with the abs. And then also, of course, putting a lot of power for our shoulders, man. But um, again, going back to these dumbbell pullovers and the pullover motion in general, a lot of people undersell this. You know, like everyone wants to do the lat pull downs, the pull ups, the rows, but there is another movement that helps develop the back, and that is pullovers. Whether you do it with a dumbbell or cables, it's very beneficial to add into your workouts. All right, and then of course, hey, shoulders, gotta have good shoulders, man. You gotta keep your shoulders healthy. You got to make sure they're strong. It'll really help you in other movements that you do in the gym. All right. Last superset we did. Actually, some new stuff. All right. So right here, we did regular decline flies. We did about, I think, what, 12 to 15. Then we actually did some straight, some straight. I don't even know what to call these because E just came up with it. It's like straight arm, like, I don't know what to call them, wing fly, I don't know. But pretty much what you do is you take the uh, the cables and you put your arms straight out and it's almost like you're flying. You feel this in your lats, man. A lot of people might think, you know, if you're doing it in the gym, people might think you're kind of messing up, but you're really not. You're hitting your lats. People might think you're doing a messed up fly, but you're actually really, really hitting those lats, man. I suggest everybody go and try this, all right? Again, all you do is set up the weight, make sure your shoulders are retracted, and then bam, press straight down. All right. Hope you all enjoyed this workout. Leave comments below and stay tuned for the end of the video. All right, so, so just finished, finished. Fuck, I can't speak, man. That's how hard the workout was. We just finished hitting up upper body, chest and back. We actually about to go ahead and record, um, a lot of y'all been asking me about traps lately, so we about to actually go ahead and record a traps routine for y'all, so be on the lookout for that either this week or next week, it just depends, because I got a whole bunch of videos I'm trying to release this week that I already had pre-planned, so it just depends. If y'all really want to see traps, comment below, and you know, if I get a whole bunch of people like, we want a trap video, then I'll, you know, release a trap video or whatever. Um, but anyways, y'all, hope y'all enjoy the workout, as always. Um, hope y'all enjoy seeing my boy E for like the first time since I think the collab we had with uh, Daniel. With Daniel, Daniel yeah, yeah, that was the only other time you've ever been on video. So we trying to, we we're really about to crack down on our diets and lean out for the rest of this year because my knee is actually feeling all right to do legs now. So we are gonna lean out the rest of this year and we are gonna bump like motherfuckers for the rest of next year. All right, really trying to make some gains. But anyway, saw this video not too long. Don't forget to order, subscribe and share, like and comment. So next time on my Devil Dogs, it's Smith. Triple beam dreams and drug schemes of mad cream could be a sad scene when you go to that extreme. Triple beam dreams and drug schemes of mad cream could be a sad scene when you go to that extreme.